Here is topic 1.1, solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on the same side. So here we go through the same six steps. So first step is to eliminate fractions. I don't have any. Second step is to eliminate parentheses. I don't have any. Third step is to combine like terms on each side separately. On the left-hand side, I do have like terms. I have negative 9y and plus 5y. That gives me a negative 4y. The negative 8 or minus 8, I'm just coming bringing down. There's only one term on the right-hand side, so nothing to combine. Then step four is to move all the variables to one side. There's only one term with a variable in it, and it's already on a side, and on the left side, like we like it, so that's done. Step five is to move the constant terms to the other side. So this eight needs to move over to the other side. So to do that, we're gonna use the opposite sign, and add eight to both sides. That gives me 36. Then the last step is to divide by the coefficient. So I'm gonna divide both sides by a negative four so that the entire number and sign cancels and I end up with just y all by itself. Now 36 divided by negative four is negative nine, and that is the answer for this problem. So as long as you're going through all the six steps of solving an equation, um, you should still come up with the same answer. I mean, granted that you're doing those steps properly, right? That we, we combine these two numbers correctly, we change the signs when we were moving terms around, and we divided by the correct number at the end, and our division computation is correct. So provided that you're doing everything correctly, this is your game plan to solving every single linear equation. Steps for every equation.